parents have a uh, television trying to give away, and a friend of mine said she should take it, so we're heading to my parents to get the television and heading over to her place. I'm probably going to have to haul it upstairs. We'll see what I can get on that dog. Got to pull the string, release the latch. Holy smoke, the size of this thing. He's a monster. Is that being recorded? Yes. I'll be sure to edit out the sound on that. Me and my men problems. Oh, it's still recording. A little easier with a dolly. She insisted on carrying it. <laughs> no, I gotta hold it heavy in this. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. You hold the top. <laughs> yeah, You're right. around you, the TV. You're right. Okay. You hold it that way. All right, enough helping a friend move. Now for the painting information. Well, a couple of things are different this time. Uh, first of all, I think I'm covering it with less paint. Uh, it took, it went quicker to cover the whole thing. Now, uh, my camera that I'm using over there just crapped out on me. It wouldn't start up a couple of times when I first tried it. I had to unplug it and plug it back in. So I don't know if that's a symptom of the camera or the heat or what the hell's going on, but it's kind of worrisome. I mean, it's a cheap camera, but I still want it to work, you know? So why did I go with red again? Well, I bought two cans of red paint. I wasn't sure how much paint it was going to take last time. So I've got more paint in the can uh, after the finishing the first coat. So it's going to get a real second coat this time. Well, I think I figured out what was going on with my camera. <clears throat> when you leave that camera plugged in to the power source and you turn it off, once the charging circuit has finished, it kills the camera, the entire camera. So even if you try to turn the camera on, it doesn't come on. It just sits there. The only way you turn that camera on is you open the viewfinder. So, uh, what you have to do is close the viewfinder, unplug it, and plug it back in. Then you have to turn it back on. Uh, like I said, it's a cheap camera, but at least it, at least it makes kind of sense now, and I know it's not broken. So, well, it's pretty much the finished product. Uh, bottom looks like I it almost looks like I missed some spots, but uh, but that is just. I didn't use any primer, so it's going to look like that no matter what I do. Uh, unless I just put on a whole bunch of paint, which I did on the top. Let me see if I can get it flipped over without just covering myself in paint. I'm doing this mainly to protect it because I do beat the crap out of these things. Top looks a lot better because I put a bunch more paint on. Put it's probably three times as much paint on the top. Oh well, I don't really know what I'm doing. You see the result.